Welcome to Cheap Controls. We make videos on things that we struggled with, hoping to help you so you don't. Consider subscribing and hitting that bell. In this video I'm going to go over how to change the setup for a Mega to an Uno for a serial port. In most of my videos I use a Mega which has built-in serial port plus three extra serial ports. And I've had some requests that have said, hey, serial port two doesn't work on mine, it turns out it's an Uno. I've been going through the videos and I'm gonna release both an Uno version and a Mega version for uh, most of my videos. And I thought I'd do a video on how I convert that. It's pretty simple, but I thought I could refer to this video when people pose the question. The code that I'm gonna alter is from tutorial number 13a it was when I was showing how to use the get command and this was the setup video for that I'll put a link right up here in it so you can see the video on this because I'm not going to go over the code for this and right now this is exactly as it was I'm running it in a mega if I go here you can see that I've chosen the mega and it's on com port 6 so I'm going to upload this code now and yeah, I've got a video shooting this display itself. The display doesn't do anything. In this one, I'm just sending the text bill to the connection. And then it's going to reply with bill back. Because when you just send text, it does that. Like I said, the video goes over that. And then it also shows the counter. And I'm currently using the, the Mega. And I'm using serial port 2. So now I'm going to go back to the Arduino and show you the steps to convert it. So now what I've done is I've switched it out for an UNO. So you have to go up here. Then you have to usually change the port. And sometimes you'll get this dual one and then it's best to restart your, um, the IDE itself. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm just gonna close it and then reopen it. And then once you have it reopened, go back and then pick your port. I don't know why it gets confused between the Mega and the Uno, but just a simple restart usually fixes it. So now if I were to go to compile this, you get an error. Serial 2 is not declared in the scope because the Uno has no definition for that, but the Mega does. So you really shouldn't use Serial 2 in the Uno, but I actually do. So I'm gonna show you a trick here. So I add a library called software serial.h. When you assign it, you have to give it a name. And a lot of people call it my serial. But I just call it serial2. Since Uno hasn't defined serial2, I just call it serial2. And then this way I don't have to change any of the other code. The editor probably calls it lazy, but I call it efficient. And I'm going to go ahead and compile this. And you can see I got it. And since that's the only compiling I'm doing, I guess I got this one, editor. So now we'll upload it. I'm going to open the serial monitor and pull up that screen again. And you can see I'm getting the data. And you can see I've switched it over to an UNO board now. Use the serial pins 2 and 3. And all I do is I add these two lines. I include the software serial.h. I give it a name, serial2. I always define it pins 2 and 3. And then 2 is the receive and 3 is the transmit. And it works quite well. So I'm just going to go through most of my videos, change this out, save it as Uno code, and have a separate download at cheapcontrols.com. Well, that's about it for this video. If you like what you saw, consider giving me a thumbs up. And also consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.